So today is Monday, and uh, they started to tease the new festival, and you would not believe it. But it is Chaos Arthur. I know. We have been so in the dark about all of this. We had no idea. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's what happens when we have leaks. I like leaks, because knowing stuff is cool. But sometimes I do miss when uh, <clears throat> we had nothing and the teasers actually meant something. Because I, I do remember like a lot of the teasers were extremely hype, uh, but whatever. We know the information regardless, uh, so it is what it is. If you don't know what this is from, maybe you, uh, <laughs> you didn't watch the anime. This is from the Chaos Place. Someone posted a picture of, uh, of it in the anime. Man. Does the anime look ugly? Oh my god, what have they done? It's it's fine, Grand Cross is gonna fix it. Grand Cross always fixes it. Man, what if, there must be a reality that we don't live in, where the Seven Deadly Sins anime continued being animated by the... What's the state? What's the, the studio that made season one? Is it called A1 or something? I don't remember the name of the studio. That's why it was good. So unfortunately, they... Uh, they bailed out or... I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Probably had like a... Like a... They probably just didn't want it. <laughs> I don't know. Did season three. In any case, um, I've talked about this already, but it's worth reinforcing. There's a lot of people that think Chaos Arthur is going to be an unknown character. They would be absolutely trolling if they did that, but it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. I think that the po that the chance of Chaos Arthur being an unknown character is valid because the main character of the most recent collab was Zahard. It was not Yuri. It was Zahard. So if they planned in advance that Chaos Arthur would have been, you know, someone to be used alongside the most recent collab character. It would have been Zahard, not Yuri. I think that is the only, like, thing I can think of that would actually give me a... Okay, it could... that could be the case. But, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it makes sense, still. A lot of the times, they do make the collab characters work very well with the most recent festival but that's usually a collab after a festival not before it for example uh, i think that the best example really is lolly merlin which <laughs> just as quick let me actually get the dates right first okay this is this is right lolly merlin was the exact same time slot festival as we are getting right now. Chaos Arthur was the February global anniversary festival. And so was Merlin in 2021. And right after Merlin, at the end of March, we actually got a full unknown roster of characters. And the biggest one for her specifically was Ram. I mean, they all were very good. Like, Merlin was a character that was very, like, pushed back by the community at launch. And, like, in only a month, we got, you know, a team properly f that was for her and meta. Her, Emilia, and then Goddess Liz and Ram, Ram, whatever, were the meta for, like, quite some time, actually. So, you know... It makes more sense to think it that way. I'm trying to think if there has been a collab that came out before a festival that had to do with the festival. And I I don't think so. Unless you would maybe make the argument, and I think this is a kind of a stretch, that Rudius he came out right before anniversary would be like made because he was the main character from the collab for bond which was the anniversary but bond 
as I recall, at launch was not made to be run with humans, it was made to be run pretty much just with sins. I don't know, none of the collabs tell me that that would be the case. Like, the Philo release uh, quite a... It was, a, was it quite a bit or just a little bit? I think it was quite a bit, actually, after Merlin. No, no, it was almost right away. So, this Merlin right here, the, fast, the other festival Merlin, the Infinity Merlin came out and she was not very good. Like she she really wasn't. She She was a very very poorly designed character. You know, whatever. She's not she's not just really good because the relic, but uh and she wasn't doing the rounds as much. But then, almost like right after, so she released at the end of September. One month later, coincidentally, Philo drops. It's never before the, the festival, it's always after the festival. Philo drops, and now all of a sudden Merlin is giga meta, like... It, was the, it wasn't the meta team until... Purgatory Mally? I think so. It was still meta, even post the one ultimate. In any case, it was, it was a meta team for quite some time. Oh, and only recently, by the way. Hell came out. Dude, they did this so often! <laughs> and I'm now, I mean, I, I knew this, because, you know, whenever it happens, we always we realize instantly, right? But Hell dropped, and coincidentally, look who drops like a month after. Albedo. J just so happens. So I don't think the collab characters have much to do with festivals that come after them. It's more to do with uh, festivals that come before them. And when you look at a... Uh, the Tower of God collab, there was no festival that correlated to them at all. It, it was just kind of a random drop, it feels like. It, it really feels like the Tower of God collab was just like, okay, guys, we need a collab uh, to make a quick buck. Oh, we have the Tower of God game. We already have models made. I don't know if they copy-pasted the models from the Tower of God game, but they did copy and paste the models from Grand Cross to Tower of God, so... I don't know. I don't think they actually did that. I think they did the other way or other way around, where you know the the one uh, model in the Purgatory Mali model, Purgatory Mali is more accessible here, were definitely copy and pasted on the other game. They probably have similar engines, and because it looks the exact same, but the models from the Tower of God game don't look the exact same. Like the, like the Zahard model does not look like the Zahar that we have in this game, so... Anyways. What I'm expecting is a resurgence of humans. I really hope they don't just drop Arthur and that's it, because humans... If he really is a character made for humans, which he should be, based on his character, just him dropping might work, but... If he's like super OP, but he's, he's gonna have a Maio 2.0 effect. If that happens, I'm telling you right now, Mael was a extremely underwhelming character at launch. Unfortunately, I really like Mael, right? But it's true. He didn't, he dropped by himself, nobody to help. And then for months and months and months, he was a character that never was, you know? Super good character, very good passive, amazing kit, like the card, the card, sorry. Very great character, but the team wasn't there, right? And I think humans is gonna suffer a very similar fate because, yeah, like even right now, humans are pretty decent, but it's because it's like a combination of the three. If I have to remove Yuri or I have to remove, you know, Askinor, it's gonna lack something. And uh, all I'm saying is, we need a new Holy Relic or something alongside this Arthur. Give, like, the one ultimate his relic already. I don't care, dude. He came out in 2022. Like, it's... <laughs> it's not two years ago, because it's like, it was November of 2022, but still. I don't care. Make him good, or something. Or even better. Oh, I'm saying. Death Beer's Holy Relic? It, it It's meant to be. Alright? It's meant to be. It would help Bon crit without needing his, uh, his guarantee crit. It would, it would do a lot, like, but I, I'm sure if they give a holy relic, can I sort by 
Relic I can, right? So, in darkest characters that don't have relics, right? Ooh! Never noticed the, uh, like little glow effect that True Awakening has. They're gonna give it like, a garbage character that doesn't even have a passive. And, like, has the worst CC imaginable. But, in any case, I, uh, I hope we don't get a Mile 2.0. That's all I'm saying. I really hope we don't get a Mile 2.0.